Hey there, YouTubers. Guess what? Another stupid idea. This is my beloved Zotac RTX 2060 Super. And that is my not as loved Dell Inspiron 3670. We, uh, we decided we're going to try and make this work without upgrading the power supply. Now, you know, obviously these, they recommend a lot higher uh, power supply. This guy has an 8-pin. You may have seen my RX 5500 XT video where I uh, successfully powered this up. And it did uh, suck up the most juice uh, that we have seen on this device. And uh, But you know what? We're going to try it again. So I'm going to connect the old 8-pin uh, PCI. E and uh, I do have the fire extinguisher near so here is the fire extinguisher on hand and ready to go now regardless of how this turns out this will be the last of these videos I believe unless um, they make an RTX 3060 super <laughs> that uh, we can make work but uh, in all seriousness this is a uh, you know probably a bad idea um, we are using a uh, the SATA power, so two SATA powers to one 8-pin. It would be smarter to use the uh, extra 6-pin mini uh, to one SATA and then another 6-pin uh, SATA um, to the 8-pin uh, like I have. I have the, the right adapter, uh, just not going about this probably the smartest way. So. I also can tell you I don't recommend this. You know, these uh, these cheap cables, uh, you've seen the reviews. Some of them uh, do melt. Uh, some people apply a little too much uh, amperage to them. They will melt. Uh, could catch on fire. Who knows what's going to happen in this video. Uh, please do not follow my footsteps. The mere fact that uh, I'm able to do this, um, you know, is, is basically because you guys... Uh, I've obviously upgraded this quite often. Uh, we put all kinds of power supplies in it, graphics cards. We've upgraded the CPU, uh, put an M.2 in there, upgraded the RAM, all the stuff I've done in the video. So uh, this is just one more, you know, way to uh, try and potentially increase the uh, the power, so uh, the performance. So I'm going to turn this device on. And if you're out there uh, watching the video, it took me to about 2 minutes and 50 seconds to actually get into this. So, um, we're going to uh, need to go hook up an HDMI connector. And then we will uh, turn this thing on. Now, I do truly love this graphics card. I'm going to go ahead and hit power. Um, and then over here, we're editing something. So, of course... You guys are missing the boot up. There's what it's drawn for power. So as I switch over, and you should see it not get too ridiculous power-wise. Actually, that's pretty high already, folks. We have uh, we're just booting to Windows. So there's Windows. Um, I think I saw at least 145 in there. It really makes you think, you know, maybe not a good idea to go beyond this, right? Let's go ahead and log in. As the adapters kick in. So now that we're in Windows, it's, you know, just cruising along. Low wattage at this point. I'm going to go ahead and run the user benchmark and we'll see uh, what this thing does. Now, if we're lucky, nothing will happen. It'll make it through this. Um, if we're not lucky, it's going to reboot uh, because it's going to draw too much power. And, uh, you know, or it's just going to shut off. One of the, one of the two. But uh, on a worst case scenario, uh, it'll catch fire. And you guys will see that. And that will be bad. Um, the most worst case scenario is that everything inside the case gets wrecked uh, to include the CPU. Now, um, 
I've personally made enough money off these Dell and Spron 3670 videos that, you know, I'm okay with this. Um, not necessarily okay with losing my graphics card, but if the Dell itself uh, dies today, oh, wow, 281, folks, 284. I'm going to, uh, wow. So normally I would just kill this right now. Um, this really is a bad idea. All right. This was the worst bad idea ever. How, how can you get much closer to 290 Watts than what we just saw? Um, yeah, <laughs> that, that just stands to show you, uh, I don't know the accuracy of this. I'm sure it's, you know, anywhere from plus minus one, uh, percent to, uh, you know, who knows? We had a lot of CPU background. A lot of CPU background noise, so this isn't the most accurate thing in the world. So our, uh, our RTX 2060 Super was performing uh, quite well, actually. And uh, 102, so that's that's par. Uh, is this as good as it, it performed with my i7-10700K, uh, as far as this goes? So this, uh, please, like I said, don't do this one. This is not going to work out. Um, this card draws too much power. It's too close to, uh, where it is going to become a problem. And after I shut this off, I'm probably going to, uh, check the temps on the wires to see how hot, hot they got, uh, offline. But Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you. So I do actually feel a little lucky. Uh, you saw how close that was. And as a reminder, some of you may not have a 290-watt uh, stock power supply. That was uh, was pretty close. Um, not, you know, where you want to be, right? If I was in, uh, you know, the 200-watt range, uh, I'd feel more comfortable that this was okay to use. Now, uh, there is a 365-watt version of this that uh, will have the same type of setup where the fan's in the back and has the same type connectors. Hopefully I'll remember to put the link down below. That guy, you know, just may go with this, right? But as you've seen, when I go and play Doom Eternal, the, uh, which I'm not gonna get to do in this one. When I play Doom Eternal, the uh, power usage goes up. So 365 watts might not be enough, but uh, you know, in other videos I've replaced this with a, uh, let's see, what have I done? Uh, I think we did, well, we did do a 365, just not the Dell one. We did a uh, 500, we've done a 600, and we did a 900 watt. And uh, any of those, you know, would be better. Now, this is proprietary board. Uh, you know, who knows? Uh, it's based on, I think it's, uh, it's either H310 or B360 technology. Uh, so, you know, it can handle uh, quite a bit. But uh, these cables, you know, when you start buying these cheap Chinese cables... You just never know, uh, you know, what could happen with these. So, uh, 